Hey, if you're new here, hit that like button for your girl. Join the fan bam. Comment down below because you know I want to know how it's squeeze and I'm back with another mukbang. Pulling up at Wendy's. Why I sound so professional when I said that? I sound like an influencer. So girl, it's the energy for me. Okay, it's the energy for you, girl. I stopped at that Wendy's for breakfast. I haven't been to Wendy's in a long time, but I'm like, where did I, have where did I eat at last time I was in the car? Y'all even think about that? And I was like, oh, snap. I was at Taco Catito Taco Bell. <laughs> so we are Wendy's today. And go get you some. We love me some. We love me some her. We love us some her. Because Wendy's. I'm sorry, out of all the breakfasts that I've ever had, even McDonald's, your girl, Wendy's, Wendy's, I'm sorry, down girl, okay, have the best breakfast sandwiches and the best, oh my God, let me, let me pull out these little potato wedges, oh my God, better than Katila Taco Bell, okay, <laughs> do y'all see it, look at the, it's, yo, I forgot to get hot, I forgot to get all my sauces, <laughs> I forgot to get ketchup, but you don't need no seasoning. Look, it's already, the girl has got seasoning on her, and she is lit. It's real. I was going to get a breakfast burrito, but I didn't feel like eating no burrito. Mm. Let me pray. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. I ain't nothing. Okay. Let me pray right for you. The Lord gonna get me anyway. I was testing this morning. He's gonna get me anyway. Um, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this food that we're about to receive. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm. And I had me, well, she gave me two, two, two packs that I gave my mom one because I got my mom a meal too. And I was at the hospital today because the girl had an interview. Oh my God, y'all. Let's talk about it. Get you snack, get you drink, and come on back with your girl. What a minute since I did a car bang. Since I've been in car, I don't really drive like that unless I go to work or back, unless I do milk bangs. I don't really like to drive. Unless it's for work or whatever. Oh my God, these hash browns, these hash browns don't even need hot sauce. They are so good, amazing. Ugh. Give me a minute. I just totally gave up all my energy for the interview. You know, I can't eat. I can't eat nothing before I do like interviews or whatever. I don't want my stomach bubbling. I'm a little bit early because it's at eight o'clock. But yeah, I got me an ice match latte at the hospital. Y'all, your girl might be working in a hospital again. Yeah, again, because I've I worked at the hospital in the past. So, but this time your girl will be hired as an employee. What benefits to the four hundred one k medical benefits? And it sucks that we have to work. Well, we really don't have to work to get medical benefits, but it kind of sucks in America that you do have to work because in other countries, like in the UK, um, their people will just the you know the monarchy just pay for everybody's thing that's good and bad because with us it with them it's like first come first serve first come first serve in the hospital like if you have something going on with you but with us because of that we have our own personalized health insurance you know we don't have to wait because you know somebody else is paying for us i don't know how it works but y'all after interviewing so much I feel like this one's for me. I say that for every job that I interview for, I'm like, you know what? You have to claim it. Because if you don't claim it, 
You know, like, how does the universe, how does God know that you want this? You have to want this. You have to go out there. Sometimes I was telling my friends, sticks and try. Y'all know I talk about my friends and I talk to them. And I was like, sometimes you have to be uncomfortable. You have to get uncomfortable to get what you want. And I'm like, sometimes I've done remote jobs. I work from home. Yeah, yeah, that's cute and all. But like, sometimes you can't get work done when you work from home. Especially when living around people, you can't stop people from making noise. Especially your neighbors or the people inside your house. So like, um, and it's like, I'd rather, um, this position is hybrid. Um, I'd rather have a few days in the office and I'd rather, you know, come home a few days. Uh, and then sometimes I just rather be in the office. I love working from home, but it's just like, you can't stop people from making noises. Like, it's like, you can't stop from neighbors from, um, you can't stop the dogs from barking. You can't stop them from cutting the grass. It's just you're like, all oh, this noise. Like, but yeah, I just ordered a, um, English egg and bacon McMuffin. I would have got a biscuit, but I didn't feel like you know eat the biscuit like that, girl. So let's do this. Let's do the thumbnail right quick because y'all already know how I do. How are we gonna do this <laughs> with the staring one away, girl? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me try this. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Let me see that. It's real. Okay. Mmm. Maybe I should have a pet too, because I feel like I'm running out of energy. Mmm. Hey, husband, this is so. Y'all. <laughs> Do y'all see it? Hey, husband, this is so good. And I love McDonald's McMuffins. I feel like Wendy's girl, this is a game changer. And I am really hungry. Mm. It's from me. I'm hungry, but I'm tired at the same time. Pretty soon, y'all, I'm busy now. Like, I'm busy trying to get my life together, trying to organize stuff around the house, helping my mom. She wasn't feeling well, so I've been helping her out. You know, so that way, like, she doesn't have as much responsibility to do, like, you know, for the cleaning and stuff like that. Because, y'all, uh, when I'm working and going to school, oh, there's a squirrel. When I'm working <laughs> and going to school, I'm going to be exhausted, even more exhausted than I am now. I know this chair is like trying to move. I usually don't like the drinks on these, y'all, because I'm going to get diabetes when I get older. But, you know, if it's, if it's hereditary... We gonna get it anyway. But sometimes you need to pick me up. I got my matcha, but coffee just doesn't do it for me. Coffee just makes me go to the bathroom. I mean, I'm telling you, coffee makes me shit. And I'm like, ugh. And it's not just like the morning. It's like all day after that. I mean, this is TMI, but mm -mm. Trust me, your girl had no problems going to the bathroom. <laughs> Trust me. That's one issue. I don't have money. I wish. Shit, I'd be, I'd be like, Mom, give me an emoji. I'm going to the bathroom too much. Oh, that's one issue <laughs> I don't have. It's a gastric. Your gastric. 
what they call it, the gas, 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 <laughs> gastrology, I ain't had nothing to drink yet, it's early, I told y'all, I'm a morning, I'm morning prep workup at 5.30, I said interview day, I was kind of nervous, because you don't know what you're going to expect before you go into the interview, but it was like chill, it was relaxed, like they got to know me, I got to know them, I got interviewed by four, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, four incredible, mature, independent females working in a hospital. And they doing it. And I was like, yes. So um, if I do to get this job, I will be a phys- physician scheduler. Scheduling appointments for phys- physicians, which I've done before in the past, which I worked in the OR as an OR scheduler. And let me tell you, let me eat while I'm talking, because y'all know when I get to talking... I forget about my food. <laughs> and by the time the video's over, I don't know, already like, I still got a half a sandwich left. Mmm. Yeah, I can tell when I need to stop and eat. I just need to be calm because I don't get a whole bunch of excitement. So yeah, y'all find out, you know, in a week or so whether I get the job or not. But I'm pretty sure I cut this one after having so many interviews. And get rejected. You're like, there's something for you. I'm like, look, if this is for you, God will make sure that it's for you. But I feel like it's for me though. Set a nice, cute, small office. Um, you know. I didn't feel like I was in the hospital even though I was in the hospital and I love that like a nice small environment you know a bit fast paced of course and yeah I can I'm going I feel like I'm going to a whole new uh, career field because y'all know I'm like more customer service based and receptionist I've done front desk receptionist I've pretty much done it all but as far as like um, having a career where I'm just a scheduler for a physician, it's more of like a new field for me. So, you know, I've done it before, but you know, times change and credentials change and rules change and guidelines change. So like what I did 10, 12 years ago is not the same as now. So, oh y'all, it's gonna be a great week. I hope y'all I'm just like so excited about today. <laughs> I'm so excited about my future. I can't even calm down. I'm just like, I'm um make sure y'all follow me in lifestyle travel diaries. Please watch my blogs. That's where I show y'all me going to places here and there. Everywhere. And then also I want to get a shout out to Jazzy V because she has a challenge out with Angela East Picky Palette. And we need to get her to 1K. So if we could help her get to 1k i'll put her link in the description box sometimes i'll be so lazy with description links putting links in there i'll be so lazy like y'all ridiculous can y'all tell this is a wig <laughs> y'all this is a wig it's not even moving because you know i laid it down honey ain't nobody gonna rip this shit off i'm trying to tell you she's laid to the gosh she's laid as lay girl this is my everyday girl this is my everyday girl wig um because she's short and cute and i can just flip her on and take her off and we good to go y'all y'all know i'm gonna eat the rest <laughs> when i get ready because it's been a morning honey i've been at, up and out the house it's woke up at six no 5 30 and i've been out the house ever since seven o'clock so and today is not over today is not over one thing I hate to do is laundry. I got to fold my clothes. It's folded. I just got to put them up. Do y'all hate? What is y'all least favorite chore to do? Because mine's 
It's laundry. I don't even take out the trash before I did get to the laundry, okay? Thankfully, my mom loves to do laundry. I let her wash her clothes, but as far as, like, she'll fold them and, you know, my job is to put them up. But y'all, say a prayer for everybody. Say a prayer for me and Mrs. Jones. Um, you know, she had a stroke and um, she talked about it in her videos, one of her videos. Say a prayer for her. Say a prayer for my mom. She hasn't been feeling well. She's doing she's doing better now, but she hasn't been um it's up and down, you know. Um, so t- pray for each other. You know, pray for each other that we're all we keep our health together and everything is good. And as far as like the all communities on YouTube, because we eat for I guess most of us eat for a living um and sometimes eating can take a a toll on your body and you need to take a step back and take care of yourself and which is why i love jazzy v's um challenge because it's a sad i may do it y'all know i suck at challenges but i love a, a nice healthy meal i love to eat healthy um and i think most you just youtubers don't like to watch people eat salads and like my friend Sixty Charles, she had Brussels sprouts and shit, and people don't like to eat. They they don't like to watch that. They want to see us eat unhealthy stuff all the time. But sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes you have to eat healthy. Like okay, eat, like period. It just is what it is. So you know, for the most part. But anyway, I'm done running my mouth. Your girl's done. That was really good. It didn't really, really like eighty a lot. <laughs> but your girl gotta go. So. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like button. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. Hit that bell notification for future videos for moi. Comment down below because you know I want to know, honey. And shout out to my members. Shout out to Cooking with Nat, Annabelle TV, and Rome's Eating Conversations. Y'all say a prayer for Annabelle too because she was sick. I hope she's doing better. So, yeah. Sharing is caring. And make sure you share this video out. Share this video out to everybody you know. Oh, this is why I want to mention. People in High Atlanta, y'all all right? Because I heard the water went out. Y'all didn't have no water. Y'all didn't have no water. Even Nicki Minaj had to... No, it wasn't it. Megan Thee Stallion had to cancel her concert. Man, because y'all know y'all Atlanta people. It'd be hot around this time of the season. I know Debo down there and all that. I'm like, I could not... I mean, because you need water <laughs> for air conditioning. Like... <laughs> Oh, crazy. Um, for Central Air, that must have been ridiculous. That must be ridiculous. Um, so hopefully it's back. The water is back on. Did y'all hear about it? The water pipe burst? Um, and something. I heard it on the, I heard it on the radio today, to be honest. And, and, like, a lot of people are upset. I'll be upset, too. How the hell you gonna run out of water? You Like, you're not gonna have water. And it's a hot-ass environment. I'm trying to make it make sense. Anywho... If y'all made it this far in the video, comment down below and say, sis, I'm the real MVP, because you know you are the real MVP. Um, your girl gotta go. Y'all know what to do. Until the next one, peace, love, and hair grease all day, every day, baby. And...